Hello guys and welcome to Keyword Research Tool Fight. Today we have two awesome tools and we're going to put them head to head so that you can find out which one you should buy. This fight is going to be eight rounds starting with round one, traffic accuracy. So the, one of the main reasons why we use keyword research tools is to remove all the guesswork. We don't want to spend hours writing for a target keyword that nobody is looking for. However, if you check the data on Hrefs and KW Finder, you will find that there are some differences in traffic volumes. This begs the question, which one is more accurate? To answer this, I used the help of other keyword research tools like SEMrush, Ubersuggest, and the results were very surprising. What you can see here is that they almost never have the same traffic volume. However, they always have the same range. What this shows us is that these traffic estimates are really just that. They're just estimate. So who's my round one winner? Well, it's a tie because both Hrefs and KW Finder actually give you the correct range of how many people are searching for that keyword every month. Round two, keyword difficulty. So, so far with the queries that we've been searching, you've noticed that Hrefs and KW Finder have similar keyword difficulty scores. However, here's the interesting thing. When you start searching for keywords that have the word review on it, you'll notice that they differ a lot. Take KW Finder Review as an example. Over in Hrefs, you'll see that the keyword difficulty score is 20, which should mean that it's still possible for a new site to rank for this. However, head over to KW Finder, you'll find that the score is 42, which basically says to new sites, it's going to be very hard to rank. And the same is true for keywords like Uber Suggest Review. So why is this? Hrefs bases their KD score solely on how many backlinks the top 10 results get for any target keyword. So if you take a look at best SEO tools and scroll down here, you'll see that each of the top 10 results is getting thousands of backlinks. This is why Hrefs assigns a score of 79, and that's probably correct. However, if you type something in like Surfer SEO Review, you'll see that Hrefs gives it a low KD score. And if you scroll down here, you'll see that most of the top 10 results don't get a lot of backlinks. If you take a look at the pages that are actually winning that keyword, you'll see that they're very, very difficult to beat. KW Finder, on the other hand, uses several metrics such as domain authority, page authority, MozRank, and a couple of others. And this is why, somewhat controversially, I actually prefer KW Finder when it comes to the accuracy of the KD score. Round three, keyword suggestions. Good keyword research tools shouldn't only give you the traffic and the KD, but they should also give you a handful of suggestions. This is so that when you type in your desired keyword, you can see all the similar keywords to that one and how much traffic they're getting as well. In Hrefs, you get thousands, hundreds of thousands, and sometimes even millions of keyword suggestions. Now, of course, you're probably not going to need that many suggestions, but in the next round, I'll show you why that's super useful. In Over in KW Finder, the maximum amount of suggestions you can get is 700, and that's already with their most expensive plan. So of course, my round through winner is Hrefs. Round four, data filtering. Now this round really ties in with the previous one because the question is, now that you have hundreds of keyword suggestions, how do you make sure that you find only the good ones? Enter data filtering. So both KW Finder and Hrefs have ways that you can filter out the results so that you can only find the ones that are relevant to what you're looking for. In Hrefs, there are a ton of ways that you can do this. You can filter out keywords that don't get enough traffic for you or have a KD that's way too high for you. You can even sort out the keywords that don't include a specific keyword. So let's say for example, I want to find a list of keywords that have best SEO tools for blank. I can type in include for here and when I click enter, Hrefs is going to show me all the possible keywords that I can target. 
Over in KW Finder, you can actually do this as well. All you have to do is click that filter tool up there and you can include keywords, you can uh, filter by traffic, filter by KD. However, the thing about KW Finder is there are only 700 suggestions. That means that those filters will only apply to those 700 keywords. So you're going to get a lot less good results compared to Ahrefs which has hundreds of thousands of suggestions to filter from. The obvious winner of round 4 is of course Ahrefs. Now let me just jump in here and say if you're enjoying the video, please do leave a thumbs up because that helps us a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you want to support us, KW Finder actually has a 10-day free trial which you can check out in the description below. So let's get back to the video. Round number 5, SERP Analysis. Now, one thing every SEO should know is that you should never rely on KD score alone because we've already seen how inaccurate Ahrefs can be at this. However, even a KD10 in KW Finder doesn't guarantee that winning that keyword is easy. To know this, you have to actually look at the SERP. And the good news is that both of our keyword research tools today actually have features to help you do this. In Ahrefs, all you have to do is scroll down from your target keyword and they'll give you an overview of the SERP. And there's a lot of great information here. Not only do you see the name of the page and their URL, you can also see their domain rank, which is how strong that website is, how many links they're getting, how many referring domains they have, and even an estimate of how much traffic that specific page is getting. Also, and one of my favorite parts is this one. They show you how many keywords that page is ranking for. And if you click it, you can actually see which keywords that page is ranking for. This makes Ahrefs super useful if you're doing competitor research and you want to know which keywords they're ranking for so that you can challenge them for that as well. Over at KW Finder, you get a budget version of this SERP analysis. There's a lot of numbers here, but in my experience, I don't actually look at most of these. The only one I look at is the page authority and this links, which if you hover over it, you can see how many referring domains that page has. Now, of course, this is still useful. However, it's crucially missing the number of keywords your competitors are ranking for and you can't also see which those keywords are, which you can do in Ahrefs. So this round definitely goes to Ahrefs. Round six, user experience. So far, Ahrefs is really dominating, but this might be where KW Finder really starts to make a comeback. You see, Ahrefs is a very complex tool, and I remember the first time I used it, I was actually overwhelmed with how much information there was and how many things you could do. I didn't fully understand how to use it. Of course, I came from KW Finder and I was used to their visuals, to their colors. They're, they're very easy to understand platform. Now, I want to stress that I was a complete beginner back then. If you have experience with other SEO tools, you probably won't be overwhelmed with Ahrefs. But really for beginners, the user experience, the visuals, the colors, the very easy to find keyword suggestions, really make this have a better UX. So for this round, KW Finder takes it. Round seven, other features. Now here's the thing, Ahrefs is so much more than just a keyword tool. On it, there are site audits where you can see any SEO technical errors that you have. There's site tracking where you can see how well your site is doing ranking for those target keywords that you have. There's Site Explorer where you can spy on competitors' pages and see exactly how well they're doing. And on and on and on, there's so many things that you can do in Ahrefs. On the other hand, KW Finder is a lot simpler. Their main tool is really the keyword research tool. Even though something that not a lot of people realize is that when you buy KW Finder, you actually get four other tools. I tried them, they're not that great. I can make a video of that if you want. KW Finder is really all about keyword, the keyword research tool. So that's why this round is really, really simple. Of course, Hrefs wins. And for the eighth and final round, we have pricing. Now, here's actually where one of the biggest differences between these two tools lies. 
because for what it's worth, Ahrefs is expensive. Now, any professional SEO is going to tell you that it's definitely worth it, but for beginners, $99 for the light plan is kind of hard to do. It's, you have really have to commit to it. Recently, I think just this year, Ahrefs got rid of their $7 trial, so you really have to spend if you want this tool. On the other side, KW Finder is a budget-friendly tool. You can get it for as low as $30 a month, and they also have a 10-day free trial, which again, if you want to support us, please use our link in the description below. Of course, it's missing all the other features of Ahrefs, but for 30 bucks, that really is a great price. So round eight definitely goes to KW Finder. The thing is, these two tools are very different from each other, and they're better suited to different people. For professionals, SEOs, and people who want to do more than just keyword research, of course Ahrefs is going to be better for you. On the other hand, for beginners who are just getting started, for people who are just dipping their toes into affiliate marketing and things like that, I actually recommend KW Finder guy for you guys because it's cheap, it's simple, and it can really be a smooth introduction into the world of SEO tools for you. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And again, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more. So thank you and goodbye.